Welcome back to Celestial Chronicles, your one-stop channel for all things mysterious, historical, and supernatural. Today, we're diving into the origins and significance of one of the most infamous numbers in human history, 666. You've probably heard it referred to as the number of the beast, and it's often associated with the devil, evil, and the end of the world. But where does this number actually come from, and what does it mean? Let's explore its roots, its connection to the Bible, and the various interpretations that have emerged over time. Origins of 666 in the Bible Our journey begins with the Bible, specifically the book of Revelation, the last book of the New Testament. Revelation is a rich, symbolic text full of imagery and visions that describe the end times. The key verse that mentions 666 is Revelation 13 verse 18, which states, Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. This verse has puzzled and intrigued scholars, theologians, and laypeople for centuries. To understand why 666 was chosen, we need to delve into the context and the language used, the symbolism of numbers in the Bible. Numbers in the Bible often carry symbolic meanings. For example, the number seven is frequently associated with perfection or completeness, as seen in the seven days of creation. Conversely, six is often seen as imperfect or incomplete, falling just short of seven. This symbolism might explain why 666, a triple repetition of the imperfect number, is seen as particularly malevolent. Gematria and the number 666. Another key aspect of understanding 666 is Gematria, a Jewish numerological system that assigns numerical values to letters. In Greek, the language in which the New Testament was written, each letter has a corresponding numerical value. Scholars have used this system to decode names and words in the Bible, and many believe that 666 is a coded reference to a specific historical figure, Nero Caesar and 666. One of the most compelling theories is that 666 refers to the Roman Emperor Nero. When Nero's name is transliterated from Greek into Hebrew, the letters add up to 666. Nero was a notorious persecutor of Christians, known for his cruelty and tyranny. This theory suggests that early Christians used the number 666 as a code to speak about Nero without directly naming him, which would have been dangerous. Alternative Interpretations while the Nero theory is popular, it's not the only interpretation. Some scholars propose that 666 could symbolize a broader concept of evil or opposition to God rather than a specific individual. The beast itself is described in Revelation as a composite creature with elements of a lion, bear, and leopard, drawing from Daniel's visions in the Old Testament. This imagery suggests a powerful, oppressive force rather than a single person. The number 666 in culture. Beyond the Bible, 666 has taken on a life of its own in popular culture. It's featured in movies, books, and music, often symbolizing evil or supernatural horror. For example, the 1976 horror film, The Omen, popularized the idea of 666 as a mark of the Antichrist, and heavy metal bands have used the number to evoke dark, rebellious imagery. 666 in History and Superstition Historically, the fear of 666, known as hexacogioi hexacanta hexaphobia, has led to various superstitions and practices to avoid the number. Some people go to great lengths to avoid addresses, phone numbers, or license plates containing 666. In some cultures, it's considered bad luck, similar to the number 13 in Western superstition. Modern Interpretations and Misconceptions in modern times, 666 continues to be a source of fascination and fear. Conspiracy theories often link 666 to various global events or figures, interpreting it as a sign of an impending apocalypse or a hidden evil. However, these interpretations are usually speculative and lack historical or theological grounding. The Role of Revelation in Christian Eschatology to fully understand the significance of 666, we need to look at the broader context of Revelation and Christian eschatology, the study of end times. Revelation is a complex book filled with symbolic language, visions, and prophecies. It describes a cosmic battle between good and evil, culminating in the return of Christ and the establishment of a new heaven and earth, the mark of the beast. Revelation 13 also introduces the concept of the mark of the beast, a sign that people will be forced to bear on their right hand or forehead to buy or sell goods. This mark, often associated with 666, has been interpreted in various ways. Some see it as a literal mark, 
while others view it as a symbolic representation of allegiance to evil powers. The Significance of 666 in Christian Thought For many Christians, 666 is a reminder of the ongoing struggle between good and evil. It serves as a warning against complacency and the dangers of aligning oneself with forces opposed to God. The number is also seen as a call to discernment, urging believers to remain vigilant and faithful in the face of deception and persecution. Conclusion, the multifaceted legacy of 666. As we conclude our exploration of 666, it's clear that this number is much more than a simple symbol of evil. Its origins in the Bible, historical associations, and cultural impact make it a complex and multifaceted topic. Whether viewed through the lens of ancient numerology, historical figures, or modern superstition, 666 continues to capture the human imagination. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history and meaning of 666. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more deep dives into the mysteries of history and beyond. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on 666, do you see it as a historical reference, a symbol of evil, or something else entirely? Until next time, keep exploring the unknown.